In this video, I'll be going over four things you need to learn and master to become a good day trader. And once you learn these four things and know them in and out, it is going to make your trading so much easier. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. I don't like wasting time. I don't want to waste your guys' time. Something that we can taught in like 10, 15 minutes, maybe even five minutes, shouldn't be an hour video. So I make things super simple. That's my thing. I make it difficult, simple, through my unique way of sharing education and knowledge. If you enjoy, make sure you drop this video a like and subscribe. Let's get straight into it. Thing number one, you need to learn technical analysis in and out. Technical analysis has become the basis of day trading in the stock market. Nobody really day trades off fundamentals or, you know, anything other than technical analysis. So you need to learn key levels. You need to learn psychological levels. And you need to learn how to read price action. The indicators, none of that even matters at the end of the day if you can't read price action. Price action is always going to be key and you need to understand how to read the levels. A place where I would start is watching my videos on key levels. Um, the way, you know, a way you can really find some basic key levels is every morning marking your pre-market highs and pre-market lows. Also, marking other psychological levels, so $100, $110, $120, $130, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like Tesla is a very big psychological level mover. It loves to move off psychological levels. Like right now, Tesla is at 170 something. Um, under 170, it will go down. Over 180, it will go up to the next key level. That's really how Tesla likes to move. So make sure you mark those key levels down, the psychological levels, and do tons of research on technical analysis. Technical analysis will be the basis of your day trading and, you know, your system, really. It'll help you find your strategy. Like for me, I use technical analysis and key levels to find retests. I wait for breakouts of key levels. I trade the retest on those breakouts. So thing number one you need to learn is technical analysis, how to find key levels and how to trade with key levels. Number two, <clears throat> You need to learn how to have a plan. And what is your plan going to consist of? It's going to consist of rules. So basically what I would kind of do is go over your trades, or if you haven't even started trading, get a basis. So whether it's just going over my YouTube, one of my YouTube videos, or right here, I'll tell you, like a basis of your rules could be no trading until after 10 a.m., 15% uh, max stop loss, 30 to 40% win. So you have at least a one to two risk reward in every trade. Always cut after the close under your level. Um, only trade individual names, no indices, no zero DTE contracts, stuff like that. You need to get a set of rules ready and written down and put them right in front of you so that you don't mess up. And you never break your rules. Never, ever, ever. So one of my rules is like a max daily loss. So if I take one loss for the day, I'm done trading for that day. I won't trade anymore. Or like if I'm down a certain amount of money, I stop trading for the day. Why? It's because I know my limits. I can be down that amount and not even care one little bit. But if I'm down more than that, it's going to affect me a little bit. I know my limits. So you need to know your limits, have a max loss so that like when you get that down that much, you don't revenge trade. And what you should do is go outside, do something better. Um... But yeah, have some max losses, have rules, have a plan set, and make sure you always trade with your plan. I even know people that print it out and put it on their monitors. It's very smart. You should do that. Number three, this is potentially the most important thing. And a great trader told me this one time. He said, if you want to make money consistently in the stock market, it's very simple. Add up your base hits and eventually you'll get a home run. What did he mean by that? He meant that if you want to make money, if you want to grow your account, you need to compound your gains. Those 20, 30% wins, they add up. Do not go and be green for the day and give it all back because you were greedy. That is not how you should trade. What you need to do is, okay, say so you have $1,000 in your account, you make $50 one day. Great, that's it. No more trading for the day. That's $50. The next day you take one trade, you win. That's it. You're not taking any more trades for the day. Add up your base hits. A few summers ago, I turned $1,000 into $25,000, and not one time did I make more than 20% of my account in a day. I never full ported, nothing like that. I used proper risk management, and all I did was use compounding gains, and it eventually led me to the place where I could let my runners run a little bit, and I caused some big trades because of that. I wasn't going all in. I never went all in or anything like that. 
but I was compounding my gains every single day. And eventually that four or five percent gets to from $50 to $100. Then from $100 to $150 before you even know it because you're just adding up those gains. That's what you need to understand that, yeah, it might be slow right now, but view the long term of it, the next four or five years, you could be making so much money just compounding your $1,000 account. You guys know that, say you have 10 grand, right? 10 grand. 10 grand is probably a lot of money for some of you guys. But say you have 10 grand. If you make 2% a day, but this is saying you don't lose any days, which is unrealistic, but just I wanted to get something in your head. 10 grand, you make 2% a day. So you're making $200 a day at first. After one year, you will have $1.3 million. $1.3 million. Not one day are you putting all your account in, none of that. You're just making 2% a day. You'll have $1.3 million. That's nuts. It's nuts, but it's possible. Next, you need to learn how to journal and you need to adapt to the market. The market changes. And if you're not able to adapt with the market, you will not be a profitable trader. The whole point of journaling is what it's going to do is it's going to get your strategy to the next level. It's going to make it more precise and precise every single day because you're adapting to market changes. You're adapting to your losses. You're cutting out what you do wrong in your losses, and you're only doing what works in your wins. You're making your strategy the best possible strategy it could be, and that is how you keep making your ads larger and larger in the stock market is by journaling and adapting to the market and just keep iron, like keep sharpening your sword. That's really what it is. You're you're sharpening your sword while you're journaling your trades. You're making your strategy better and better and better and better. You're making your trading style the best it possibly can. So learn how to journal your trades. Next, I know I did four, but this is going to be the bonus one. When I started, so I've been trading for around five years in August. So four and like four years and three quarters, whatever. When I started trading, I wish I had like a community or something like that because I would have saved so much money. I mean, I lost for almost two years straight and I have people that I mentor after two months, they are literally profitable. Like, and I'm not joking. I, I show the testimonials all of my Instagram stories and stuff like that. You can check them out. But like, I wish that I kind of had that mentor, that person to hold my hand, show me how to fish while handing me fish at the same time. And that's kind of what I do now. So, um, yeah, I really wish, like, I kind of had that person and that community of people that were upholding me and stuff like that. But since I wish to have that, now I created that. Now I've, I've, I'm creating a team of profitable traders, and we have 20, 30, 40 kids, too, that are profitable. I mean, dude, I probably have created about 30 profitable kids, which is crazy, and hundreds of adults. So um, if you're interested in being mentored by me, you can apply below in the link below and book a call only if you're serious. It's not a clarification call. It's an onboarding call. So if you already decide yourself, we don't accept everybody. Usually about one in three people who book a call get accepted, and you must be able to willing, willing to invest into yourself too. So if you're interested, book that call below. And um, I hope this video finds some value for you. Watch my other videos. I drop tons of education. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe. This is just to start. I'm posting weekly YouTube videos for real. And um, I really hope I kind of simplify everything for you. It was kind of a brief video. So my next few videos I'm going to do is just go very into depth into a few like concepts and stuff like that, more or less, instead of going briefly. So um, kind of not any questions. I'd love to get back to you guys. Apply to be mentored by me. Follow me on Instagram if you want to join my free Discord. Love you all and peace.